Okay, now that we know a little bit about the way fasteners are sized and what the, the numbers mean, let's take a look at how we can fix threaded fasteners uh, if there's some damage. Now, I, I do want to make a quick note that most of the time when there's some damage on a, a bolt like this, uh, we're going to be uh, better off just replacing the entire fastener. But uh, sometimes uh, if we've got a really expensive or difficult to find bolt like this, uh, this balancer bolt from an engine, if we just have a little bit of damage on it, we actually can uh, repair it. So let's take a look at some of the tools that are, are available uh, for helping us do that. Over here, we have what's called a, a thread chaser thread repair uh, set. We have some uh, thread chasers that are designed for repairing external threads on bolts and studs. And then we have some thread chasers that are designed for repairing internal uh, or internally threaded holes uh, such that we would have on an engine block or some other type of, of engine component. Again, if it were just a nut that had some uh, thread damage, we would be better off replacing the entire nut. And then uh, this little bar right here is actually a, called a thread file. We have one that is, uh, is metric, um, and then we have one that is uh, SAE. And these have teeth on them, little cutting teeth that uh, uh, correspond to different uh, thread pitches. So we previously uh, took a look at this bolt and, uh, and using our digital calipers, we decided that this was a 16 thread per inch uh, fastener, a 3 eighths by 16. Now, this is not the most efficient way to figure out what the thread pitch uh, is. Uh, this is convenient for uh, demonstration purposes, but really, if, uh, if I had a, some damage on this and I, I was wanting to fix it, I would, of course, need to know what size it was. Uh, it may be appropriate to measure the outside dimension here uh, with our digital calipers and realize, oh, okay, this is a 3 8 But then to figure out the thread pitch, we're going to use this thread pitch gauge. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to fan this out so we can hopefully see the numbers on these blades. Okay, so you can see that these teeth uh, are different distances apart on these different blades. So I'm just going to use this uh, as a comparator to try to figure out, okay, which one of these fits the best? And of course we know that uh, it's going to be the 16. I'm going to fit that down in there and you can see that that uh, fits really nicely. So now we've determined, yes, for sure, this really does have 16 threads per inch. So I can look at my thread chasers here. Now these gold ones are metric. These silver ones are SAE coarse thread. These black ones are SAE fine thread. So I'm going to uh, try to select my 3 8 by 16. So you can see right here it says 3 8 by 16. What I could do is mount this in my vise. I'm going to use a little bit of, of cutting fluid here. Uh, a lot of people like to use WD-40 that uh, produces pretty good results as well. And then I would use some type of, of tool, a wrench, a socket, something of that nature, and I could run this thread chaser down on this. Now we're not going to want to use power tools. We're going to do this by hand. Uh, remember though that these thread chasers are designed to just clean up minor imperfections, small amounts of damage uh, on these threads. Now let's take a look at another tool uh, that's available. So if we, if we move over here, uh, this is what's called a tap and die set very similar to the thread chaser set, but uh, with one uh, exception. This is designed to just clean up existing threads. This uh, tap and die set actually has the ability to cut or create new threads. It's got a lot sharper, more aggressive teeth uh, on these tools. So these tools that are designed for threading internal holes, those are called taps. The ones that are designed for 
threading external uh, threads on fasteners. These are called dies. Uh, up here we've got our SAE dies. Down here we've got our metric. This one here is our 3 8 by 16. Uh, now, something that's a little bit different about this die versus the thread chaser is that there is uh, there's a difference between top versus bottom. Uh, it, if we were to, to cut this apart and, and look at the, the cross section of it, it's actually tapered inside, So and, and we may be able to see that. This is the side that we would want to start on. So again, I'll put this in the vise. I'll use this special die handle here. But again, we, we could use a wrench or a socket if uh, clearances were tight. We didn't have enough room for this handle. So then I could go ahead and, and run this down and clean up those threads. Now, remember that I said this die also has the ability to create new threads. Um, if I were cutting new threads, what I would want to do is advance this about a quarter turn and then back it up about a half a turn and then go back to where I was, advance it an additional quarter turn, back it up a half turn. I have to do that because as I'm cutting material off of the, the fastener, it's going to be creating chips, metal chips inside of uh, these, this little fluted area here. And I need to back that up to break those chips so then I can start cutting uh, new chips. Okay, let's look at uh, one last uh, tool here for this demonstration, and that's this thread file. So again, we know this is a 3 8 by 16 uh, bolt. I'm going to find my 16 thread per inch uh, teeth on the file. I could position this on the fastener, and then I could clean up imperfections on the threads this way. Okay, again, since I have a die that actually fits this fastener, uh, there's not really much reason why I would use this. A time that would be a little bit more appropriate is if I've got this very large fastener and I don't have a die that fits it in my kit, there's just a little bit of damage, like maybe we can see right there. If I wanted to clean that up, I could find the appropriate uh, portion of my thread file. And again, I do that using a, a thread pitch gauge. And then I could just very gently clean that up and, uh, and be able to reuse this fastener uh, in service.